what's going on guys so as you can see I've got a chair here and it's not just any chair it's a gaming chair and so I got it from Amazon from a company called Ficvax as you can see um, all over the chair got some cool designs though um, it's a gaming chair so it looks different than just a you know a normal office chair that you might buy for real cheap so in this video I'll basically be giving you a review of this chair and you know letting you know if it's worth it to buy a gaming chair so let's go ahead and get right into it so as I said earlier this chair came from Amazon from a company called Ficmax and as you know most products on Amazon kind of you know vary in price depending on the day and the time and whatever um, but from what I've seen this chair usually ranged from about $180 to $200 um, so it's kind of a mid-range gaming chair, not too cheap, but not too expensive as well. And I also have a $10 off coupon in the description below. So in this video, I'll be showing you the features of the chair, what you might like about the chair, what you might not like about the chair, and you know, whether you should buy it or not. So first of all, let's just start with wh why should you buy a gaming chair? Um, and so just in general, um, gaming chairs are usually more you know, er ergonomical. As you can see, there's a lot of bolstering on the bottom and the top, so it kind of fits you, I wouldn't say it's snug, but it holds you in. You're not gonna, you know, your back's not gonna slide off the back, and um, it kind of holds you in for those those long gaming sessions. As you can see, there's kind of support in all places where you would sit at. Um, so I'd say that's the basic advantage of a gaming chair, and also just to kind of look cool. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know why or how who came up with this design, but it, you know, it just looks cool. It looks cooler than a normal office chair. And Figmax specifically, they have, I think, like four or five different colored chairs. Um, they got like red and black and some other cool colors. I just got this black one. Um, it kind of blends into the office, so if you do want to use it as an office chair, it, it works for that as well. So let's first, um, you know, just see what came with the chair and get into the features. Um, so first of all, if you come over here, I'm going to show you what came with the chair. So obviously it came with some instructions. Um, now it does take a few tools, um, but it actually comes with the tools you need. So it comes with a, a hex wrench or an allen wrench and uh, basically a little screwdriver to do everything you need. Um, it takes probably 15-20 minutes to set it up. It's not too difficult. Um, basically just screwing in the back and putting the bottom on the on the uh, wheels. Um, so not too difficult. comes with instructions. Um, and as, you, as I told, showed you, it comes with an allen wrench and a screwdriver. It also comes with this little piece, um, which I'll, it's, it's, an, it's an extra piece. You're not going to need it unless something breaks. Um, but it's nice to have just in case it does break. I'll kind of explain this later when I show you how the chair works. And then also comes with this little card. We got a one year warranty, I believe. Um, yeah, a year warranty and kind of just says some other stuff. Um, and then also right here, this is a little, this is basically a little rumble pack. So this rumble pack um, sticks in the back of this, this little back pillar right here. There's actually a zipper on the back and you unzip it and just stick this little pouch in and the wire comes out the side um, pretty discreetly out the back and you just plug this into a USB and you've got rumble function in your back which is kind of like a little massager which is pretty cool um, it's obviously not like a full-on massage chair but it's kind of nice to have a little bit of vibration in the lower back sometimes you know so yeah let's go ahead and get into the rest of the features of the chair so first of all it rolls you know just like pretty much every chair you've ever seen um, and then it spins just like every other office chair you've ever seen so those are two basic features and then here's where it starts getting different so on the bottom you can see we got these two metal poles right here so one here and one right here and then this little black rectangular thing and so if you pull this out and swing it up it's actually a leg rest um, so it's kind of like instead of having an ottoman sitting right here where you um, rest your leg or feet on you have your own retractable leg rest for for that purpose which is actually really nice. I didn't realize gaming chairs had this, but I got it and it does have this. Um, so I'd call it more of a leg rest than a foot rest because it's not long enough to put your feet on. Um, but you know, it holds up your legs, which is usually good enough support. Um, but if you do want to rest your feet on it, you can kind of go crisscross applesauce kind of style. Um, but either way, it provides a nice support for your legs. Um, unlike another office chair would do. So now I'll stick that back in. And so over here you'll see a couple of levers. So first of all we got this one on the bottom and it's kind of like your basic you know, lever. You pull it up and your chair's going to rise up. It's actually already the highest point right now. Um, but if you were to sit in it and pull it, you would slide down just like pretty much any office chair in the world. Um, and then the other function of this thing right here, if you push it in like that, you can see how it moves in and out. So you push it in, it'll lock the chair so your chair can't rock back and forth. Um, but if you pull it out, your chair can rock back and forth, so kind of like, kind of like that. 
um, as you can see the camera moving that's how it would rock back and forth kind of like a rocking chair um, so that's kind of a functionality I like I personally kind of like to rock back and forth in my chair while I'm playing games just to have a little bit of movement rather than sitting still um, it's kind of a personal preference um, but but yeah so the next lever we see right here is basically it adjusts the angle of the back so if I pull it it'll pull it all the way forward as you just saw um, but now if I pull it and lean back on the chair it's a lot easier to do this when you're actually sitting in the chair but basically it leans back as you can see and I can do that with my hand so it's super easy to do with your back um, but it goes it actually goes to 180 degrees so this back can go all the way to 180 degrees and basically flat like a bed I actually it's funny I actually tried this out earlier um, kinda like <laughs> trying to sleep in it and it actually does work pretty good um, but yeah you got a lot of flexibility where you want your back to be um, you're probably not going to want to be this far back all the time unless you get a TV that's really high up. Oh, by the way, check out my fireplace. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so let's get a little bit further up on the chair. Um, so the base of the chair, where your butt goes, this thing is super wide. So it basically caters to like any sized person, um, whether you like to have your legs straight or spread them out. Uh, I'm about 6 foot, 170 pounds, and I can spread my legs really far apart and have like from here to here space in between my legs to um, of just free space uh, so this, you know that's really nice it pro provides a pretty big area has even got this bolstering on the side so your legs don't like slide off or anything and then next up you got your standard armrests um, pull this little thing right here and you can go up and down um, now one thing I do wish I wish these things went back and forth like you'd slide it back this way or forth or the forth this way um, but you know, I'm, I didn't really expect to have that in this chair because you don't usually get to that kind of functionality until you're like a three, four hundred, five hundred dollar chair. So once we get a little bit further up the chair, um, above the armrest and the you know the bottom where you sit on, um, we come to this back pillow as I kind of showed a little bit earlier. Um, so literally, all I would call it is a back pillow. Um, it kind of gives you some lumbar support. It's not it's not as hard as you would usually expect lumbar support to be, but, um, but it's because it's just basically a pillow, so it's kind of soft. Um, and as I showed earlier, you can put a little rumble pack in there, have a little bit of massage, or if you don't want to, you can just sit on it. And as you can see, it kind of slides up and down, so it'll fit your back to how you want it. Um, as you can see on the back, it's got these straps that basically strap in, and you can, you know, strap <laughs> basically slide the straps up and down to adjust your pillow. And as we get further up the chair, we get our second pillow. So this is basically a neck pillow, and it actually, you know, when I first saw this, I thought it was kind of like a gimmick. But it actually fits really nice on my neck, um, and as you can see, it's pretty elasticy, so you can move it up and down um, depending on how tall or short you are. So that's it's pretty customizable. Um, and then at the very top, we got some more bolstering, so this helps hold your shoulders in right here, these two portions right here, and then your head kind of rests on this. Um, if you're used to a normal office chair, it's usually just like a flat back, and all you'd have is this portion right here, um, so you wouldn't have this bolstering on the side or the top. Um, and as you can see in this one as well, it has bolstering all along the side. So you can kind of sit in it without um, sliding off and you know, it kind of just holds you in place so that you're not going to fall off or get tired during long gaming sessions. So I basically showed you all the features. Um, now I'm going to tell you about what, you know, what I think the biggest strengths of this chair are. Uh, so first of all, uh, like I've mentioned a lot, I think the bolstering on the side um, is really beneficial. It kind of holds you in place, um, helps you not get tired and for lack of a better term, um, fall out of the chair while you're gaming. Um, so I think the bolstering is really useful. Um, I'm also a big fan of this this little pull-out leg rest as well. I always like to rest my legs on an ottoman, so having a built-in leg rest is really useful. Um, and kind of just the overall comfort of the chair. It's actually a really comfortable chair just to kind of sit in. Um, I'm not sure what kind of material I'd call this. It's not really, it's kind of like leather, but I wouldn't call it like, you know, full-on leather, maybe kind of a... A fake kind of leather but it feels nice and it's nice and squishy um, but not too squishy and then I also really like these pillows right here so this pillow for some lumbar support and, and the neck pillow um, kind of just a little bit of comfort factor to it uh, which I really didn't expect much from just kind of seeing them because they you know they look like gimmicks it's just a little pillow there and a pillow there but it's actually not it really actually feels pretty comfortable and you know I really don't have much negative to say about this chair um, I really just I wish this am the armrest um, you know, extend, like I was saying earlier, extend it a little bit farther, but I don't really expect that from a, a gaming chair in this price range. So last but not least, I'm going to just kind of show you guys how I fit in the chair. Um, so first of all, let me just move this lever so that I slide down a little bit. Um, and then I'll show you the leg support. So there it is. 
get your legs on it pretty easily. And then I think I have my lever pulled out right now so I can rock back and forth, which is one of my favorite parts about the chair. And as you can see, I've got plenty of space for my legs. I'm, as I said earlier, I'm about six foot tall, 170 something pounds. And I've got plenty of space for my legs to move them in, out, all about. So you can be really big, really small. You're gonna fit in the chair um, and it works just fine. And just one more thing to make note of, I had to contact the Max support while I was putting the chair together and they're actually pretty responsive, responded in like a day. So um, that was really nice. So I just thought I'd point that out. So there you have it guys, it's the Max gaming chair. Um, and I'll let you guys decide for yourself, but honestly I think I think gaming chair is pretty pretty worthwhile experience, um, a worthwhile investment. Uh, so I'll put the link in the description for this chair. Um, go ahead and check it out and check out the $10 off coupon I put in the description as well. Um, you know, let me know in the comments whether you like this chair, what you don't like about this chair, um, and let me know if you go and buy it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day.